Hello everyone, this is Faisal. Today I'm gonna show you how you can jailbreak your PS4 using Lackfox Pico. As you can see, this is a Lackfox Pico Pro Max on my hand and today I'm gonna use this for the jailbreak process. You can use any other Lackfox that you have. So without any further ado, let's get into my computer screen. This is the GitHub repository of the project. Previously, you had to SSH into the Lackfox Pico device to install the jailbreak script. But the recent version of the jailbreak script is pre-installed and the developers are providing a build image so that you can flash directly onto your Lackfox. You can download the build image from the release page. I'm gonna use the one with WebUI for the tutorial. You also need some other tools like the SOC toolkit for flashing the image and Rockchip driver to install the chip. For the flashing process, you have to follow the official Lackfox guide that is shown in here. I've also followed these in this video. I'll provide all the links in the description below so that you can download. Now I'm going to download all the required files one by one as you can see. After downloading I have extracted all the files in these three folders. One folder contains the build image, another folder contains the rockchip driver and the last folder contains the SOC toolkit. First of all, I will open the driver folder and then click on the driver installation file. Now it will install the driver on your Windows computer. If you have any other device, you have to install the required driver. Now since the driver is installed, we will open the SOC toolkit. Here you have to select the appropriate chip. Since I am using Lackfox Pico Pro Max, so I am using RV1106 chip. So I have selected this. If you have Lackfox Pico Plus or any other device then you will select the appropriate chip option. First of all you have to connect the Lackfox Pico with a USB cable into your computer. If you connect it directly it might not detect your device. In that case you have to press the boot button first and then while pressing on the boot button you have to connect it to the USB cable. Now as you can see the device is detected and it's showing as mask rom 22. Now from here we will go to the path option and then select the folder that contains our build image. I have named it pppon web and I have selected the folder from my documents folder as you can see. Now it's asking for the environment, you just click on yes. After this, we will select the download bin option and then click on the download bin. Now it will download the bin file. After that, we will click on the erase option and it will erase the Lackfox Pico. Now you have to select all the files and then go to the download tab and then click on download. As you can see the flashing process will run and it will take some time. So we will wait till the process finishes.
done. It has already flashed the image file on the Lockfox Pico. Now you can close the app and we will disconnect the Lockfox Pico from the PC. For the next steps, we don't need the PC anymore. Now I'm gonna plug in the Lockfox Pico into the PS4. One end of the Lockfox Pico will be connected to the Ethernet port and another end will be connected to the USB port of the PS4 by using a USB cable. Now that it is connected, I'm going to turn the PS4 on. We will wait for the PS4 to be booted up. As you can see, the light on the Lockfox Pico is blinking. Since I was already using jailbreak on my PS4, that's why I'm not going to put the gold hand file by using a USB drive into the PS4. But if you are jailbreaking your PS4 for the first time, then you have to do that. Now that the PS4 has booted up, I have to go to the settings and then go to the network settings to set the optimum network configuration for the Luxfox Pico. For this version you have to select PPP as the PPoE username and for the PPoE password you will also use PPP. Now we have to open the browser and then dial in the IP address which is 192.168.1.1 and it will load the web UI like this. Here you will find different options. First you can go to the configuration settings. From here you can select your PS4 version. You can also checkmark the box which says it will automatically pee on the PS4 every time it turns on. There are other options too. After setting these options, you can click on run pee pong. As you can see, the exploit is running. The web UI will be unusable until the pee pong is succeeded. Once the pipipon is succeeded, you can use the web UI again. Here, as you can see our PS4 is successfully jailbroken. Let me open a game to check. Here's my favorite Spider-Man Miles Morales. As you can see the game is running and everything is working fine. So this was the tutorial, thank you so much. Bye bye.